Hello, beer troopers, and welcome to another Versus Beers with me, Peter, the Master of Hobbits, today joined by Tobias, the Major of Macros. Yes. And another beer battle. This looks overkill. It looks like we're two people splitting <laughs> two 750s. But, but actually, we're three. Red is on the sideline <laughs> today. Yeah. Uh, so we're battling Sump in vintage form. So if you don't know Sump, it's a great uh, beer from uh, Perennial. It's their famous coffee beer. And uh, I've reviewed it a few times. And actually, we tried to review uh, the 2017 vintage, uh, Brett and I. And was it Michael? And we tried to review that. And we cracked the bottle. And it was like a like final pour of the tank or something. It was like, oh, it was like a yeast sample. Mm. It was really bad. That's not so nice. <laughs> so it's drain poured, but beer gym was awesome enough and sent us a new bottle, but it was one without a label. But hey, that's okay. That's fine. It works out. So this is the 17 one, which is 10.6% alcohol. Mm -hmm. And it's made with uh, Colombian... What was La it? Regine? No, that was the new no, one. That, no, no. <laughs> That one, yeah, that's 10.6, <laughs> the old one, and it's made with Los Rosales. Yeah, I'm talking about the old one. Right? Yeah, and the new one yes. is made with La Virginia. La Virginia, yes, I know. Yeah. That's right, but I just couldn't. Yeah. So Los Rosales, oh. Colombian coffee, and the old one, 10.6. And then we have the new one, which has a label here, uh, which is on 11.5%, so even stronger, made with La Virgin coffee, also from Colombia. And fun thing, the coffee company, Sump. Well, it actually means swamp in Danish. Yeah. Sump. <laughs> But let's start off with the seven, so 17 and 18 vintage. Mm. Let's start off with the 17. So the 18 vintage from 19. Yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> it's it's bottled it's because 19. it was bottled in 19 but made in 18. Yeah. It's part of the batch with bottled in 18 and some were bottled in 19. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's check out the old one first. So the first thing I noticed is like it seems like the head is a little bit darker on the old one. It definitely is. Mm. Yeah, for sure. It's more brownish. Maybe there's been a slight recipe change, but otherwise, you know, pitch black and pearl stuff. Mm. It looks like color wise of the beer itself, it's more or less the same. Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, the 10, or 10, the, the, 10, the 17 looks, looks nice, you know, thick, rich. Check it out. Check out the aroma. Yeah. I don't know why I said cheers to that, but yeah. Ooh, definitely mm. coffee still. Yeah. Big chocolate. So much coffee. Big chocolate. Coconut chocolate for me. Mm -hmm. yeah, I can see wow, it. Wow, it's like really fresh, fruity, green coffee. Yeah, it smells like you just brewed the coffee and mm -hmm. then poured it into this, even though it's well two years old. That's rather impressive because it's yeah. it's the, the the old one. Yeah. Yeah, super fresh roasted coffee aroma, um, nuttiness as well. Maybe like a hazelnut yeah, or something. Yeah, absolutely. Pour some all chocolate, coconut. Smells really good. That's impressive. It's really held up well. The coffee is dry. Cheers. And thanks to Beardin for this one. Mm. Oh, that's a really nice coffee stout. That is a really good it's coffee absolutely stout. Absolutely amazing. Fan fucking fantastic coffee. Exactly how we want a coffee stout. Yeah. Pretty much. Super velvety, super creamy. The coffee really gets a shine. And it's like this fresh, vibrant coffee flavor. It's like when you do a French press or something. It's not yeah. like this roasty, intense espresso. The fruitiness of the coffee really gets to shine. Yeah. And then if you put it the other way around, it's it's more more like a fresh brewed cup of coffee and then with kind of like... It's uh, like cream or something. Yeah, yeah it's cream, cream, cream or like a chocolate syrup or something like yeah. that. It reminds me of a Cortado. Because yeah, that's very yeah. true. Yeah. Because the Cortado has the intensity of an espresso but with a bit of milk. Mm. And there's lactose in it. So. Is there lactose in this? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. No, I'm pretty sure that there is no I, lactose. Are you sure? I'm like a hundred percent sure. I think it's just an imperial oatmeal stout. But oats also provide a similar thing. Mm. Do your research. <laughs> I'm pretty I, sure. I think I've read. No, oh, you just go on. I'm pretty sure it's just a straight imperial coffee. Okay. Style. Also, some. But you could fool me though with lactose. Yeah. Because it's so velvety. But I think it's more like oaty sweetness. What yeah. you're saying? Sorry. Um. Saying like like uh, fudgy, yeah, very mm. fudgy. Mm. But also still a good roast pro profile. It has some yeah. roast, slight umami. Mm. It has like like a lingering taste on the tongue with the with the roast from both the coffee and I think and also from the malts. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It almost like has something that reminds me of wood. Yeah, I, I can see what, what you're getting. Get more, 
but in my in my opinion, more like uh, like red red wine barrels, mm-hmm. something like that. For me, it's more like just like a woodiness. No lactose, right? It is made with lactose. Are you sure? The it base? Just a small amount. Yeah, it says here. Is it also made all with All of our styles contain a small amount of lactose sugars. Oh, all of them. What about oats? It, it just says they are considered non-vegan. I see. <laughs> so they put lactose in all their stouts. But they don't write it on just, the list. It says here, Perennial Sun dangerous. Coffee Stout is not vegan friendly. And that's from themselves. Oh, it says here it contains lactose yeah. on the new one. Yeah. What? It has a small dose of lactose. This one also the old one? You can taste it. Yeah, but I, I, I thought that would be oats. Like, I didn't no. read that. But for me, uh, it was like an oats. Remind, that's why it reminds me of a Katado, because it has an, yeah. an undertone of like this. But I was thinking it was actually, it's probably oats in it too. But it reminded me of the sweetness you get from using oats in like traditional British mm. oatmeal stuff. Mm. Because you also get a lot of sweetness from oats sometimes, mm. depending on how much you use. But okay, there's a small amount of lactose in all their stouts. Okay, mm. didn't know that. You learn something every day. Mm. Nice. So the fresh vintage, the 18 with La Virgin coffee, mm. a whole percentage higher. Let's see if that does I mean, anything. Otherwise, same color and everything, pretty much, except the head. Let's see the aroma. Oh, it is different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, it's not as fruity, the coffee. It's more no. spicy, I think. Yeah, I agree. Like, like, like white pepper? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, this is so much more nutty coffee and like, uh, uh, like chocolatey and whatnot. This is like fruity, um, uh, spicy. I'm also like getting maybe some white chocolate. Yeah. I'm also getting a little bit of a, like almost like, have you ever had green, like fresh pepper? You talk about white peppercorns, yeah. like green, green, like fresh peppercorns. Mm. Almost something like that. Yeah. It's like a Szechuan peppercorn. It's like really peppery. Yeah. Coffee kind of notes. And also maybe a, a bigger roast profile. It's a bit more roasty than the other one. I'm not. I'm, I'm actually getting more roast than this mm. one. Mm. Yeah, I think so. For me, I'm getting more roast. Oh. Hmm. Smells really nice though. Yeah. Well, for me, almost the coffee character on the old one seems like it's more forward. Yeah. Oh, we're we didn't mix up the glasses, right? We're doing it. Oh, right. it is. Oh, what? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to be sure. And also, to me, this has some umami edge. But I think almost like bird ends in barbecue. But I also think that the extra percentage can maybe dull down the coffee maybe, a little bit. Maybe. Depending on how they add it. I don't yeah, know. yeah, true. Let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks to Beardum. Again, we didn't mention them at all. Yeah. Uh, this one is from Beardum. This one we actually got ourselves. Uh, but but thanks, thanks to Beardum. Beardum. <laughs> for beer. Check them out, guys. Guys, link is down below. Let's try it. It's definitely thicker. Mm. I feel like it's a bit thicker, at least, and I feel like there's a bit more sweetness to it. Yeah, but it's it's less mm. of a coffee stout if than the other one, maybe. Yeah. yeah, that's interesting though when you have them side by side. Yeah, I never thought I'd say I'd like a, an old coffee stout more than a fresh one because I know how important it is to drink coffee fresh. But I think the seventeen sump one that was fresh would have been fucking yeah. nuts. This is really good, but the coffee vibe is so different. It's like really peppery and spicy. Mm. I think in, in, in I'm not sure if it's if if it's true or anything, but it seems like to me that this one, the newer one, is tipped over the edge, because this one I think this one is really good both well, like, like, like the balance do. between yeah. alcohol, malt, Base. and coffee, whereas this one it, I think the extra percentage is what there is a hint of booziness to it. Yeah, but that being said, the other one is also aged since 2017. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That might also do. And uh, that also has something to play in. Very mm. nice and thick, velvety. The bodies and the beers that these guys do are great. Mm. Super slick and smooth. Um, although it's really great flavors, I think. Um, it's, it's it's definitely chocolatey as well, but maybe more dark chocolate for me, like bitter dark chocolate. Mm. All those kind of peppery notes I'm definitely getting as well. I'm almost getting a licorice wide too. Just like. More like, like molasses or something mm. of that sort. Maybe more of a molasses character, yeah. Mm. And then, yeah, but I can see the, the sweetness that plays in there. It's not oats, it is lactose. But I think if it didn't say lactose on the bottle or breaded it, I would have kept thinking it was oats because it reminds me of the similar sweetness. 
Mm. Um, but, but it's kind of nice. But it's, it's a bit more thin, it's a bit more dry. I don't know if thin it is. It's thicker than the old one. It, it is. It is. Mm. It is. Mm. I've, no, it's I've not. I've thought about no. it several times now. I it's the same it's because, big difference, there's more CO2 in the new one. Mm. The carb is higher in the new one because when it rested in my mouth a bit, I feel like, oh, is it a bit thicker? What's going on? But the carbonation is definitely higher on this one. I feel like. And that plays a the big role. The old one just stays on your tongue for, for a longer time, I feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that could be the carbonation. Yeah, the carbonation with. People think of lots of things when the beer in terms of flavor profile and whatnot, but especially with stouts building these kind of beers, the carbonation has so much to say in how you perceive it. Mm. I, I'd say a 95 on the old one. On the old one. Mm. And like 92, 3 on the new one. Something like that. I think the old one is like pretty much benchmark coffee stuff. Yeah. Exactly how I want to call it. Yeah. Stuff. Whereas I mean, the new one is a, it's a bit too fruity, maybe a bit too acidic. Yeah, I said as well, but that's also there's that's very different from coffee to coffee how acidic mm. they are. So, but yeah, I, think I never I'm thought gonna, I'd like the old one most. But yeah. I think I'm gonna go, go one grade high and see ninety six for this one, mm. and then keep, yeah. stick with the old for ninety three and the other one. Ninety three, yeah. yeah. I was thinking like ninety five, ninety six as well. Yeah. So if you get a chance to do a battle of sump, of something else. <laughs> I had to do that. That was terrible. Uh, if you get a chance to battle the 17 and 18 sun, you should definitely do it. This is a great coffee beer from uh, Perennial. Do you have a favorite? Do you have a favorite vintage? Let us know. I think it's really cool that they change the coffee each year mm. to make it a it's different nice. experience. That's very nice. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have a chance to try either the uh, 17 or 18 uh, sump, let us know what you thought of it. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Great versus beers. This was fun. And we're going to say cheers. Or oh, should we do a quick duvet? Cuvee. Duvet. <laughs> A cuvee. Uh, we can mix it in the mouth. Take a sip. Okay. <laughs> a sip of each. <laughs> hmm? Yeah. That's actually pretty nice. I actually like that better than drinking the fresh one. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. But let's wrap it up. <laughs> see you guys. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks to Beer Review for the beer, and see you guys in the beer review.